1971, the game for number one. Unbeaten and untied Nebraska versus unbeaten and untied Oklahoma. This ABC sports exclusive is being brought to you by Brute for men by Fabergé. After shave, after shower, after anything, Brute by Fabergé. My Texaco, the many thousands of Texaco retailers and distributors in all 50 states. Trust Texaco to have the right gasoline for your car. By General Motors and the people who make Chevrolet, Pontiac, Oldsmobile, Buick, Cadillac, Opel, and GMC trucks. The cars and trucks with the GM mark of excellence. And by your independent insurance agent who reminds you insurance is too important to entrust to an amateur. So see a pro. You'll find him where you find this big eye symbol. Today, it's a showcase of college football as we look at the number one ranked team in the nation in the white jerseys, the Cornhuskers from Nebraska, being intercepted by the Sooners of Oklahoma in the crimson jerseys. They are ranked number two. The game to decide who is number one. The two top ranked teams in the nation. A football classic that's been building for weeks ever since Oklahoma defeated convincingly the University of Texas for this game to decide the top team in the nation. Co-captains to the near side in the white jerseys, 14 quarterback Jerry Taggy, 18 Jim Anderson, both natives of Green Bay, Wisconsin. For Oklahoma on the far side, we have number 11 Jack Mildren, their quarterback, the injured Glenn King, and number 40. Three, Steve Acock from Midland, Texas, a linebacker. Let's listen. Field judge, Skip Merrifield, your back judge. This is Wendell Winkler, your linesman. This is John McClinock, our square official. And this is John Keck, your umpire. Okay, we'll allow Nebraska, the visiting captain, to call the toss in the air. Want it understood that should I drop it, I'll throw it up again. Okay, here we go. You're calling it? All right, head. All right, Oklahoma, you understand he called heads, is that right? And it's tails. You may have this little momentum of the game. You may kick or receive or defend either goal. You will defend this goal, all right? You may kick or receive. All right. Oklahoma wins the toss, chooses to defend, and will kick. And we'll start the game in one minute and keep rolling. Going back deep now is the Nebraska receiving number 20. The best in the country. Returning kicks Johnny Rogers. Number 35 on the far side is Jeff Kenney. Kicking off for the Oklahoma Sooners in the red jerseys, John Carroll, number 10. A 25 mile an hour win coming from right to left. And here it is. This is an opportunity for the real big red to stand up. And after 60 minutes, we'll know what team is at the top of the spot, Nebraska in white. They have their scarlet football pants. Oklahoma on the right with crimson jerseys and white pants. We hope you're watching in color. You're comfortable. And as soon as that ball is touched, the game will be underway. Johnny Rogers in his own end zone. 5, 10, 15, 20. Running out to the 25. And he was denied about five yards as an obvious average kickoff return. Okay, bud, we're ready as we look at the Nebraska line. Cox and List to the ends with White and Johnson the tackles, Withman and Rupert the guards, Dumbler is the center. While in the backfield, Jerry Taggy, number 14, a great rusher, 35, Jeff Kenny, the fullback, Bill Olds, 44, and Johnny Rogers, number 20. Watch for him. At the moment, he's just outside the near side tackle. We have Cox also outside, so from the 26-yard line, first down, Nebraska, Jerry Taggy. And his very first pass is completed to Johnny Rogers. Gus from the 33-yard line, Nebraska, Jerry Taggy, number 14. And to the deep back, it's Jeff Kenny. It's third down and three. The real test for the Nebraska defense right off. Rogers to the far side. Taggy. And a two-yard gain. It doesn't appear that they made it. We have number 26, Jeff Hughes. John Shelley is deep for the Oklahoma Sooners in the area of the 28-yard line. He's looking at the ball. It takes a bounce in reverse and finally, very wisely, down at the 32-yard line by Doug Dumler, who snapped the ball. A 32-yard punt. And now with the wind to their back after stopping Nebraska. Nebraska moved the ball. 
Nine yards were forced to punt, and there's the offensive line for the Sooners. Jack Milton, the cornerback. Roy Bell is starting instead of junior Joe Wiley, a sensation. But you'll see him later. And the real sensation, number 30, Greg Pruitt. Byron yeah, Crosswhite, number 17, is the fullback. Here's the wishbone now. First and 10 for the Sooners with the ball at the 33. And Leon Crosswhite almost looks illegal as we have a second down and eight from the 35. Mildren trying to pull away but couldn't for Oklahoma. Third and seven for the Sooners. And the wishbone is being effectively defensed by the Nebraska unit. Joe Wiley back to punt. Johnny Rogers, number 20. He uh, returns punts as well as kickoffs. It's high in the air, which is what uh, Wiley wanted to do. So there'd be kick coverage. And Rogers gets away. Look at that. Johnny Rogers. Look at the moves by that sensational player, a native of Omaha. And he is going, going, gone. Bob Terrio drew the last block that got Johnny Rogers into the Oklahoma end zone and Nebraska number one leads six to nothing after about 75 yards. Offside against Oklahoma, needless to say, as Rich Sanger has the ball teed up in the center of the field. Into the wind from the 45 is the Nebraska kick. And it is bobbled. It's taken by Greg Pruitt at the five, coming out to the 10, makes his outside move, and a very fine tackle put on the play. And now back live from the 15-yard line, the wishbone with Mildred running it to the outside. John Harrison at the bottom of your screen on a second down and seven. Greg Pruitt showing you his style. Found by Brahaney. And the wishbone first and 10 from the 35. And Leon Crosswhite, the fullback, number 17, play the three options. Second down and eight from the 37. Crosswhite carrying the ball. Mildren. Mildren appears to have made the first down for Oklahoma. 15 to go in the first quarter. Oklahoma with the ball. Ooh. This drive started at the 15. Now it's second and nine at their own 46. Oklahoma. You'll see that Nebraska linemen, and on third and long, most teams are going to throw the ball, but the wishbone team still usually like to run. However, Mugan going with a long ball here. John Harrison. First and 10 now from the Nebraska 21. Oklahoma. Again from the wishbone, Leon Crosswhite. Harrison to the far side, split away. Now it's a third down and six. A fourth down and two from the 13. This kick will come from the 20, plus the 10 yards of the end zone on an angle. 30-yard attempt is up and good. A 30-yard perfect kick by John Carroll of Oklahoma with 5.57 to go in the first quarter. ABC and the NCAA combined to bring you the thrills of college football. With timeout, the score, o Oklahoma three, Nebraska seven. John Carroll's kick following the field goal. Ball is in the air with the wind behind. It's Jeff Kenny who comes out to the 10 as a blocker ahead of him, moves across to the 20 and puts his head down and comes out to the 25. After Oklahoma drove 72 yards and then kicked uh, a 30-yard field goal. Nebraska leading 73, first and 10 at their own 24. Kenny was in motion. Taggy looking. Taggy. Very difficult to bring down. Kenny Olds and Rogers ready, along with Woody Cox to the near side on second and 16. Great defensive play on Johnny Rogers. Rogers 20 to the left and bottom of your screen on third down and 16. We'll watch him from the 18-yard line. Nebraska. And on the delay, Bill Olds, the fullback. Not enough, of course, for the first down, but look at the desire of John Shelley. John Shelley awaits Jeff Hughes' punt for Nebraska. Nearly blocked. It's high in the air, coming down at midfield and going back into Nebraska territory at the 44 to Oklahoma. Oklahoma, good field position at the Nebraska 45. First down, they trail 7-3. to three. Mildred, thinking and throwing on first down. Looping one out there, Albert Chandler. It is Pruitt in the slot on second down and 10. 
Joe Wiley in the lineup for the first time, number 22. He's had six tackles, one assist. So we have a third down and 10 for Oklahoma. Mildred trying to make it up with a pass. Too high again. We have three minutes, 13 seconds to go in the first quarter. Seven to three to score. Brahimi Smith to Wiley. Wiley's kick. Rogers looking at it at the 12. Hemmed in. And this time there were enough Sooner jerseys. Texas A&M would go to the Liberty, uh, Liberty Bowl. Arkansas will be in the Liberty Bowl, however. If Texas got second and eight. Baggy. Woody Cox and Rogers set away on a third down and eight. Nebraska, good fake by Taggy. Then a little screen flipped out there to Kenny. He's at the 20, now comes to the 25. A marker is down, and there may have been a clip. Let's see. Jeff Hughes punt into the wind on fourth down. The punt is up, sailing beautifully into the wind as Shelley looks at it at about the 34. He is immediately hit. What timing on the part of Johnny Rogers. Number From the 31, first down with about two minutes to go in the first quarter. Seven to three. Nebraska leading is Joe Wiley from Henderson, Texas. Number from the wishbone. And Tim Welch, alter to go in the first quarter. Third and three. He's got it, he's got it. And it appears that Tim Welch, the sophomore fullback, is close to the first down by Carroll of Oklahoma. So from the 43, Jack Mildred sneaks away. Second down and two from the Nebraska 49. And getting close to the first down and losing the ball, picked up by number 18, Jim Anderson. But apparently the play, let's see what the call is. It appears that the fumble was recovered, could not be advanced. From the 46 now, Nebraska, first and 10. Time running out in the first quarter, 15 seconds to go. Nebraska leads seven to three. Tag it to Olds. Olds, the powerful fullback. At the end of the first quarter, ladies and gentlemen, the score, Nebraska seven, Oklahoma three. As we go into the second quarter, it's Nebraska leading seven to three with a second and four at the Oklahoma 48. Jerry Taggy. Here it is. They get it. Jerry Taggy to the far side from the 44 first down. Nebraska with the ball. Taggy. Taggy throwing deep to Rogers. Second down and 10 for Nebraska at the 44 of Oklahoma. 7 to 3 the score. Nebraska. Nice fake by Taggy. Flips it then at the last moment to Kenny. And as a slot man to the far side is Kenny. Single setback. He carries the ball and gets the first down. 215 pounds. Jerry is even Usually the ball carrier wins the battle and knocks the linebacker back. And the slot eye. Taggy fakes and throws down the middle. Look to be Woody Cox, number 32. Where do we see the jersey? Correction, it's number 20. Johnny Rogers. He's got one touchdown today on a punt return. First and 10 from the 19 now. Slot eye again, Taggy. And mixing up the plays. And the drive being sustained keeps the ball away from the nation's number one offense. On second and five, Jeff Kenny of McCook, Nebraska, number 35. Nebraska and White, Oklahoma, if you're watching in color in the crimson jerseys. The slot eye again to the near side of the field. What baking by Taggy. First and goal now for the Cornhuskers. And Jeff Kenny. Second and goal. Jeff Kenny, touchdown, Nebraska. 13 to 3. And for Kenny, it's his 13th touchdown of the year. The senior from McCool, Nebraska. Keith Wardman and Al Austin blocking on the right side of the line, helping him to get an up and over play. Touchdown came at 11.09 of the second quarter. 54 yards, 12 plays. Rich Sanger to try for the point after. Taggy holding up and good.
This is NCAA college football with timeout to score. Nebraska 14, Oklahoma 3. There you see the ball teed up with the wind of their back. Sanger's kick comes and it's looked at by Greg Pruitt. And it's a nothing held back today and let's see what the Sooners can do now. First and 10 from the 20, Mildred on the wishbone. But as Mildred saw second down to 10 from the 20, and there is Leon Crosswhite, who injured himself earlier, but it's Crosswhite. And on this next play, first and 10 from the 44, the Sooners get up near midfield. Harrison stuck to the near side. And they just keep trying with that rushing aspect of Dutton is in a tackle replacing Jansen on third and five from the 49. Jack Milden gets the first down. 44 of Nebraska, first down, Oklahoma. Crosswhite. Angling off across the 40 in second and five. And Pruitt oh, in the first half. Milton, first down for Oklahoma. And boy, when things do break, Harrison 12 at the bottom of your screen. But that is just beautifully executed actually to get it there Milton giving the cross white Leon cross white did he have a first and goal to go at the five for Oklahoma Jack Mildren had a little bit of a head start but Terry 45 was at his back along with 25 Dave Mason 13th play of this drive coming up. There it is. Just waltzes in. Jack Milgram of the Sooners. And some block by Crossway. Wasn't it beautiful? His 14th touchdown rushing. He is nearing the 1,000 yard rushing mark. The quarterback, Jack Milgram. 42 of 50 on the point after. Puts this one through the uprights. So what a game to decide which team is number one in the nation as ABC's exclusive coverage of the game of the year will continue with the score. Nebraska 14, Oklahoma 10. Let's pause for a moment. As John Carroll will now kick into the wind for Oklahoma. It's 14 to 10 with 510 to go. Woo! There's one right in the belly. Number 50, Doug Jamail. I don't think there will be a tie. Two great teams now from the 47. Nebraska with the ball. Oh, and what a move Johnny Rogers put on the defensive backs as second down and 10 now for Nebraska at their own 47. They lead 14 to 10 in the closing moments of the first half. Peggy. To Dam Kroger. Maury Dam Kroger, a sophomore fullback. Oklahoma with 172 total yards, more than the average that Nebraska has given up thus far on the season. So from the 43, Nebraska with a first and 10. Johnny Rogers going to throw the former quarterback. There was a collision between Woody Cox, second and 10 at the 43. Pulling out all stops for victory here this afternoon. And there's Jeff Kenny anticipating a pass. Let's watch. Peggy. Wide open and couldn't hang on to the ball. Here's an attempt of 56 and a quarter yards. And Oklahoma was expecting to fake. There's no one back to handle the kick if it's short. But they gave it the good old college try. So now from the 20-yard line, Oklahoma trailing by four. First and ten from the 20. Four minutes to go. First half. Greg Pruitt. And the great band of Oklahoma. Second down and eight from the 22. Less than three minutes remaining. It's third and four for Oklahoma. A beautiful block stringing Milgram. Welsh through a great block. For the first and ten. Let's watch.
Harrison set at the bottom of your screen. And lofting one out, it is number 82, Albert Chandler. Minute 48 to go in the first half, 14-10, Oklahoma trailing. Good faking by Mildred, giving it to Tim Welsh. A loose ball, Nebraska recovers. Recovered by Rich Glover with a first and 10 from the 27. Taggy once more. Bruce Deloney, Nebraska leading 14 to 10. Rogers to the far side, Cox to the near side. Dan Kroger, number 46, charging out to the 35. Not Woody Cox and Rogers to the far side of the field, third and two. And a loose ball after being denied a first down. Here's the kick by Hughes. The punt is on its way. Joe Wiley, a junior. Couldn't make his moves and is stopped at the 22. 51 seconds left two great bands. And the two universities will perform. You'll enjoy it. Mildred calls his own number. And Lahak from his own 27 yard line, 33 seconds to go first half, trailing 14 to 10. Joe Wiley, number 22. Clock running, first down play. Milden looking to throw. Loops one out. It's coming in the area of Harrison. He has it. Harrison, as a helmet goes shooting out, the defender, number 24, Bill Cush, lost the helmet and didn't quite see the ball. Overran it. That's Kosh overrunning it. First and 10 with the clock running, and there is a touchdown, Oklahoma, John Harrison. I wouldn't have believed that, Chris. <laughs> what a game. Five seconds left as we'll have the try for the point by John Carroll. It's up and it's good. All American as we have five seconds left on the clock, John Carroll's kick. He tried to make it go 10 yards in an onside attempt. It went 10, but we have Nebraska's Dick Rupert. It appears over the ball to time all year that Nebraska has been behind the nation's number one ranked team. They're now near midfield with a first and 10. As Taggy wants to get a touchdown, he throws it. Really reared back and let go. Took it for Johnny Rogers. as Nebraska has chosen to defend the goal to the left here at the start of the third quarter, so they'll have the wind to their back during the fourth quarter. So the kick by Oklahoma's John Carroll, with the wind aiding, goes right through the end zone. 78 yards in four plays to take the lead. Now Nebraska with Jerry Taggy from their own 20, first and 10. It goes to Kenny, a bruising runner. And that's what we mean. A spread formation with a single setback. First down. Taggy. A very sure tackle. Put on by Mark Driscoll, number 59 from Ponca City, Oklahoma. And the first half statistics way in favor of Oklahoma. 312 total yards to 91. Nebraska had been averaging 220 yards a half. So they're way below it, 120 some below their normal offensive output. Second down and 12, let's call it. And there is Mr. Kenny again. Third down and three now at midfield and an early move by the left guard, number 77, Dick Rupert of Los Angeles, California. Nebraska is one of the most. The ball at about the 45 of Nebraska. Slot eye, taggy. Pass blocking fine, but not from behind, however. Number 88, right of the screen. Jeff Hughes, all set. Back deep is John Shelley. Shelley looking at the ball. It's in the area of the 30. Now going between the 25 and 30. Watch closely by the Nebraska folks. And here are the Sooners. John Harrison to the near side of the field. And Pruitt. Oklahoma with a field goal. It's been nip and tuck. Second and seven from the 32. And Leon Crosswhite in struggle for supremacy. Third and four for Oklahoma. The real star 
for Oklahoma. Nation's number one offense with the ball. Oklahoma going against the nation's number one defense, Nebraska. First and ten from the 42. And Milton again steps it up and loses the ball. The third error by the Oklahoma defense as John Atkins knocked it loose. And number 25, Dave Mason. Oklahoma has a lead, 17-14, with about 11 minutes to go in the third quarter. Nebraska recovered a fumble, first and 10 at the 47, and Jeff Kenny spins into Oklahoma territory. In the slot is Rogers, number 20, on second and four from the Oklahoma 47. Kenny, tough man to stop. There you see three fumbles, losing them, Oklahoma. First and 10 from the 42, Nebraska. Taggy. Holds number 44. Rogers is flanked to the far side. Cox is split to the near side with Kenny in the slot. Single setback. Taggy gets the first down and more. Jerry Taggy moving his way down inside the five. All right, back live. A first and goal for. The Cornhuskers at the three of Oklahoma. Kenny and Olds with the setback. Look at that move. Jeff Kenny pulling away from everyone for a three-yard touchdown romp. And now it is 20 to 17 as Nebraska has regained the lead here in the third quarter. Let's watch Kenny again. It doesn't look like there's any daylight at all. But he finds that crease as Olds makes a beautiful block for him. He hits the safety man. Rich Sanger will try for the point after with Taggy holding the kick is good. A timeout at Owen Field in Norman, Oklahoma, an overcast afternoon where the score is Nebraska 21, Oklahoma 17. Here is Sanger moving to the ball. It's hanging in the air, coming up short of the two great run back artists. Number 17 for Oklahoma, Cross White, the fullback. Very taggy on the phones for Nebraska. Meanwhile, out on the field, Jack Milton for Oklahoma. To the 27, first down, and Cross White carries the ball across the 30. Milton to Harrison to lead at halftime, 17-14. Now we have a second down and seven. Through it, carrying on the play. They're set now as Oklahoma, Oklahoma has a third down and four. The ball between the 30 and 35, and Milton, Willie Harper. Pinches in from his right defensive end position. Johnny uh, Rogers is deep. Joe Wiley's kick sailing high. Rogers looks at it. Couldn't get even one step. Heisman Trophy winner. Nebraska at their own 39, first and 10. Dam Kroger, Cox, and Rogers are to the far side. And that's what Bud Wilkinson was referring to. From their own 49, first down. They lead 21-17. Kenny and Dam Kroger are the setbacks. Kenny going wild here in the second half. First down from the Oklahoma 36. What a catch by Johnny Rogers. Now at the Oklahoma 16. Rogers to the far side on a wide slot position. Just inside the split end, Woody Cox. Jeff Kenny will move much better here in the second half. Second down and 10. Baggy, receivers covered. A double wing formation on third and five at the 11 of Oklahoma. Here's the pass. Johnny Rogers short of the Oklahoma goal line. Kenny and Dram Kroger are the setbacks, and Taggy tries to go in. Second and goal from the half. But Jeff Kenny goes in. So Jeff Kenny has scored the last two touchdowns for Nebraska. Going in from the half-yard spot. And the Cornhuskers take a 10-point lead, 27 to 17. Kenny now with 14 touchdowns for the year. Rich Sanger trying for the point after. Taggy holding. It's good. 
three minutes, 38 seconds remaining in the third quarter of play as the game of the year in college football being seen here on ABC with time out to score. Nebraska 28, Oklahoma 17. Leading Rich Sanger has the ball teed on the 40, kicking into the wind, and deep we have Greg Pruitt, number 30, and Joe Wiley, number 22. Here's the kick, short again. Crosswhite looking at it, but stepping forward is number 40 for Oklahoma, Steve Dodd, Bill Russell. Jack Mildred stepping forward from his own 28, 33. Glover says, oh no, to Tim Welsh, number 45. It's a third down and five for the Sooners, 2.29 to go in the third quarter. They trail by 11. And here is a pass thrown, and it is complete to John Harrison. Harrison trying to get away, catch! But Oklahoma has moved to the 15 of Nebraska. A 41-yard play to the 16 of Nebraska. First down. The exciting wishbone. Mildren. Look at him pick his way between folks. That much yardage against Nebraska. Second and two. Mildred, his own number again, and it appears that he has the first down. So now it is first and goal with a minute five to go in the third quarter. The ball at the three. They're trailing in the ball game, 21 to 17 at halftime. Touchdown, Jack Mildred. So the Boomer Sooners go marching from their own 28. A 72-yard drive in seven plays, and what an exciting game, bud. Anytime they ring that scoreboard the way these two teams do, it's excitement all the way. Reminds me, Chris, in 1950, we played Nebraska here. We had Billy Vessels, they had Bobby Reynolds, and that score was 49-35. Well, we're approaching that now because we have 28 seconds remaining in the third quarter, and the kick by Carroll is up and good. breaking crowd here. 28-24 is the score. 28 seconds left in the third quarter. Lots of time for either team as Rogers. It goes right through. Now the powerful and number one ranked Nebraska Cornhuskers. First and ten at their own 20. Their super engineer and quarterback Jerry Taggy has the ball. Pitches it to the deep man Kenny. And Kenny it's that extra four yards he gets the end of the third quarter here at Owen Field in Norman, Oklahoma, where the temperature is 47 degrees. The score, Nebraska 28, Oklahoma 24. And now it's second and three for Nebraska at their own 27. First snap, fourth quarter. Taggy faking a handoff. It's a first and 10 now for Nebraska at their own 31. Gives you an idea of just how tough Kenny is. Cox 32 to the near side. Uh-oh, here's Johnny Rogers coming the opposite way. There's that blinding speed out of bounds at midfield. Putting the ball would be Doug Dumbler, number 54. Taggy right behind him. First down. Getting it away at the last moment to Jeff Kenny. Number 98, and second down and eight from the Oklahoma 48. Olds is the fullback. Kenny behind him. The fake is to Kenny, and the defense took it. Here's Taggy. Taggy still trying. Ooh. Third and inches. Slot eye. <laughs> Jeff Kenny getting yards. 12 minutes left in the ball game. Hiding the ball, it's loose, and Oklahoma recovers. Selman recovers the ball. Who scored the last Oklahoma touchdown? Number 11 at quarterback. And 
Jack Mildren is moving with the ball at the 41. It's second down and less than a yard. Just in 10 at their own 45. And number 45, Tim Welsh. Second down and five for Oklahoma near midfield. And there is the first opportunity to see the speed of Greg Pruitt. What a play, bud. So at the 33 of Nebraska now, following the 17-yard gain, Mildred keeps, and Jacobson is on top of him. Second and eight. And Welsh. Harrison to the near side on third and five. Mildred. And it's Welsh. Battles, but is short about a yard and a half of the first down. The wishbone offense with Harrison split at the bottom of your screen, number 12. Wonderful ride, I think. And there's the first down by the bread and butter man, Jack Mildred in the secondary. And up front, they were tough on Welsh. Now it's a second down and nine. And Pruitt, the two deep men, third and six. And knocked away on a beautiful play, number 18, Jim Anderson, a senior from Green Bay. It's going to be a running fake. For, I believe that he may run the basic option or a pass off the fake. They need six yards. Mildren busting one out here to a man who's open. It's a touchdown, Oklahoma lead. plays and Jack Mildren has thrown his second touchdown pass to Harrison John Harrison we have 710 to go and now we have Carroll trying for the point after an Oklahoma ups the count they have a 31 to 28 margin at this moment the game for number one will continue here on ABC in a moment the score Oklahoma 31 Nebraska 28 35 is Jeff Kenny on the far side, Johnny Rogers for Nebraska, awaiting the kick by Oklahoma as the Sooners have taken the lead again on a 69-yard march in 11 plays. Jack Milton to John Harrison for the score. 31 to 28 with seven minutes, 10 seconds to go in the game. Here's the kick into the wind. Kicking it away from Rogers, it goes to Kenny, a very dangerous and tough runner. But he is tripped up by number 37 of Oklahoma, Gary Young. It's now Jerry Taggy from his own 26 first and 10, Nebraska in the white jerseys. They trail by four. And here's Rogers. And he lost his footing. Nebraska number one in the rankings, Oklahoma number two, second and six from the 30, Jerry Taggy. Jeff Kenney of using them soon, but right now Nebraska third and one at their own 35. Taggy. That's a good man to give it to when you need a yard or more. Look at that power runner. Jeff Kenney, bud, moving the ball to the Oklahoma 48, first down. Gary Dixon, number 22. Feet. Nice fake by Taggy. Jerry List is going deep, but the receiver is covered. But then coming up short was Rogers on a comeback try. 4.50 to go. Third down and eight. A lone setback with two wings out and in going out now. Taggy, oh, just missed again by 96 Hamilton. Johnny Rogers. Cut the ball, and it's a Nebraska first down and a big one. Says five catches, 59 yards for Rodgers. First and 10 at the Oklahoma 36. Frosty Anderson is in the lineup, split to the near side. There's the Rambler. Can't he move? It's first and 10. Cornhusker, 3.59 to go in the game. They trail by three. Look at this run. Johnny Rogers slipping away, falling to the 15. 
Oklahoma does not stop them. It'll be very difficult for them to have time enough left to score. Woody Cox going to the far side. Rogers is uh, an inside slot man on second and three from the 15. And that's the man to give it to. Jeff Kenny trailing by three. Nebraska first and goal from the Oklahoma eight. Jeff Kenny in a slot eye formation. Jerry Taggy, number 14, calls it. What a man to stop. Jeff Kenny, a fumble. And Oklahoma players say that they've recovered it, but the officials say no. Third and goal from the two. What pressure on the Oklahoma defense. to be denied Jeff Kenny his third touchdown of the afternoon and Nebraska has regained the lead 34 to 31 wow hope you're enjoying this game it's one of many here on ABC over a seven day period we have more to come including a game tonight Georgia Georgia Tech then on Saturday Army Navy to be followed by the Battle of the Unbeatens Auburn Alabama and 138 remaining Rick Sanger will try the point after with the score being 34 to 31. Total of 65 points scored out here this afternoon. The kick is up and good. A beautiful drive of 74 sustained yards. This is the time that Pruitt would like to show his speed. He hasn't had much chance today. This time it's picked up whoops, by Wiley. Wiley finds a hole but is up and down at the 20-yard line. They have to move it from their own 19 with a first and 10, and Milgren immediately wants to go to the air, throwing it long off. Harrison had his man beaten, but the pass was overthrown. Oklahoma was defeated 28-21 to last year by Nebraska. Second and 10 for the Sooners. Milgren. And Milgren is near the sideline for a minute 21 to go. Number one defensive unit in the nation, led by Larry Jacobson, number 75. So here it is from the wishbone. Fourth down and 14. Mildred looking. Mildred getting away. The ball knocked down by, guess who? Rich Glover, number 79. Jacobson was the first in. So now at the 15-yard line, Jerry Taggy, who's had a fine afternoon, call signals for the Cornhuskers from Lincoln. He's not going to throw it, I promise you. <laughs> so now it's a second down and six. 55 seconds left in the game. Nebraska leading 35-31. Taggy of Nebraska. Just controlling the football. All right, 41 seconds. Third down and seven. Nebraska with the ball. And Jeff Kenny. However, if it counts down to about six or eight, he'll snap it, I believe, Oklahoma having exhausted the timeouts. Here's the fourth down play, and ever trying, Jeff Kinney carries the ball, and now Nebraska, only three seconds away from retaining its number one ranking, showing us a balanced offense and a super defense against one of the most exciting teams ever, the Oklahoma Sooners. The ball at the three. And that is... Congratulations to both teams. Just a tremendous battle here. Pride of both teams very evident throughout the 60 minutes on the clock. And all the excitement and color. The showcase of college football, I believe, Bud, has been a great success and a great victory for the Cornhuskers. And there goes heavy Bob Devaney. And that's one of those glorious moments for a football coach. So two unbeatens on Saturday. Auburn, Alabama will be televising that one at 4 Eastern time. And the final score again, Nebraska 31, Oklahoma, or correction, 35-31, Nebraska the winner.